What I want to do today is connect our Outlook and Google Sheets apps so that whenever a new email is sent on our Outlook account, a new row will be created on our selected Google spreadsheet. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you could try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Outlook emails to trigger my Google Sheets app, I'll need to use Outlook as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Outlook sees a new email has been sent, it's going to run this workflow. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Email as my event and click Continue. The first time we set up Outlook, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Outlook account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. Next, we'll need to set up our trigger apps data. If you have a shared inbox you'd like to use, you can find it on the drop-down menu and click Continue. If not, you could skip this step altogether by clicking Continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our first action. I want to set up my Google Sheets spreadsheet so that my dates are formatted without the time. To do this, I'll need to click the Format button on the built-in tool section. For my events, I'll click date slash time and click continue. Next, under transformation, I'll click format. Once I do that, under the input screen, I should click received date time. Under to format, I'll click the format I wanna use for my date only and click continue. Click test and review and we can move on to our next action. Click the plus button on the bottom of the screen. Type in Google Sheets into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click create spreadsheet row and click continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Google Sheets with Zapier, just like I did with my Outlook account. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue and it's time to assign our trigger apps data into the Action Apps fields. First, pick the drive where your spreadsheet is located. I'll click My Drive. Next, for the spreadsheet, click the spreadsheet you want your data to appear on. I'm going to click Zapier Emails. Under Worksheet, click the worksheet you want your database creations to be uploaded to. I'll click Sheet 1. Next, I'll start filling out the data on my spreadsheet. Under Sender, I'll click From Email Address Name. Under Dates, I'll select Output under my Date Time Formatter and under Email, I'll click Subject. Then I'll click Continue. Click Test and Review, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now. Anytime a new email is sent out to our Outlook account, a new row will be created in our selected Google spreadsheet. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.